Um, my name is Sarah Nishikawa, and I am from Hui Hola Haulana. It's the University of Washington's Hawaii Club. Um, literally translated, it means a group woven together in friendship, um, and that's what we are. We're here to perform, um, to share a bit of the Hawaiian culture that we've brought to UW. And we've chosen two songs, um, two different styles of dance, per se, because all hula is sacred, and it's part of like the, the tradition and carrying on the stories and passing down the legends of the, of the places and the people um, of Hawaii. And so we've chosen two songs from two different styles. One is more ancient, one is more modern. The audience should look for the kind of the differences be between these two styles because again, one is more ancient and one is more modern. And it's not only represented through the costuming, um, the kahiko, the ancient dance, will have greenery, on the wrists and the head, and um, we'll have a long pau skirt. Um, and the awana will have probably dress, a long flowing dress, it's more representative in the more modern times. So there's the costuming, but there's also gonna be um, the kind of the storyline, but also just like how the dancers are portraying the story. The kahiko is more serious, it's more ancient, um, but the awana is more upbeat and fun. Um, you'll see a lot more a lot more like gentle motions or just smiles on their faces, hopefully, <laughs> if we train them well. <laughs> uh, but it'll be more graceful as well. So there's there's stylistic differences between these two types of dances that a lot of people don't really know about. Usually people in luau's in Hawaii, they go and see mostly owanas and not much of the more ancient style, the kahiko style. So we're here to share that with you guys and hopefully you can spot some of the differences there.